everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Knife of Dunwill DLC from Dishonored. Um, trying our best here to not kill too many people, which we're slightly failing at. <laughs> but we're trying our best. How do you hear it so well? What the freak? The freak stuck on the thing. Dead one here. Where do you? I'll cut you to pieces. Butchers, get over here. Kill for Bobby. There you go. Boy, and you're eating the body too. <laughs> Great. Delete the tanks. Depleted tanks. <laughs> Frank, I told you to have this thing replenished with a full tank at all times. We have a shipment coming in soon and this crane better be working by the time it arrives or someone will be demoted to sewer cleanup. Canaan. So where do we see a tank dispenser again? Somewhere around here. Whoops. Something here too. Hagfish warning. The hagfish are extremely dangerous this time of year. Please put up signs warning people to stay out of the water and be extra cautious not to fall in. We confiscated a boat that was sitting out there the last few days. It had a week's worth of rations. It was put into storage. Dock patrol. There's an empty tank. Now oh, there was a dispenser somewhere. Where was that again? Oh yeah, over there. There you go. I'm just casually running around here. <laughs> no one sees anything. There you go. But I got power now. Nice. It's closed though. Like that's great, but it's closed. Hmm. I'll go up just to see if I can do something, but I think not. Oh no! There's a lever, actually. Oh no. I don't want to go in yet. I want to make sure we finish everything here first. But so we found another way in. That's pretty nice. Then we have this area too. Missing. The Arc Mine. My experiments continue with what I've been calling the Arc Mine. Initially, I began the work out of idle curiosity. Waking from a nap in the middle of the afternoon during the month of clans, I wonder whether it might be possible to separate a flat disc filled with refined wheel oil from an array of very short striking rods. Until such time as a uh, sufficient weight can be applied to the upper side of this device. After turning to pragmatic considerations, I imagine the arc might, mine might be used to incinerate some unfortunate member of enemy forces approaching, say, a military encampment. After early tests on livestock proved successful, I requested a live human subject, already scheduled for execution for crimes that were, I assure you, most dire. Burroughs was more than happy to comply, assuming he could witness the demonstration. He bought a prisoner 
he brought he brought a prisoner from Coldridge, someone named Vaughn, I believe, and we turned him loose in a test area, blindfolded. Something about until triggering the device. Jesus Christ. Burroughs was most pleased, not only because of Arkmine's effectiveness as a lethal deterrent, but also because of its potential psychological impacts on the enemy forces. Further, it left no gore or other mess, and Burroughs is a strong supporter of anything clean and tidy. Oh yeah, of course. Lovely and terrifying, with nothing left to wipe up. Those were his exact words. I've left notes to myself, assuming I pick up the project again, because there may be a way to produce a version of the Ark Mine that is entirely harmless, simply rendering the subject unconscious. Much more testing is required. Damaged time cards will no longer be replaced due to abuse of this indulgence. Any worker without a time card will be denied admission grounds and summarily terminated. I need more men. Oh my god. How is it all not working? <laughs> Good one. Out. Okay. Come on, you've taken so many arrows already. Jesus Christ. I think everyone must be dead now. <laughs> think everyone's dead. Oi, his head came clean off. Collect blueprints to unlock new upgrades and equipment at the start of the next mission. Which one did we get though? Compact arc amplifier. That sounds cool. Arc mine. Places mine near nearly anywhere. When triggered, it will deliver powerful electri electrical charge, reducing the target to ash. Ooh, that sounds cool. You might want to be a bit more dangerous like we are right now. A bit more deadly. Could be could be fun. Let's see. I know there was a paper there. I'm going to read it. Just want to Okay, walk around a little bit see if we got everything. There you go. Seems like it. Okay. Oops. Arkmine Shipment. Mr. Rothwald, I have great appreciation for the use of your space and your wills in the advance of my studies. All of Dunwall will be in your debt for your contribution to my work. In light of your recent difficulties, I have prepared for you a gift of my latest defensive technology, the Argmine. It is based on my Arc Pylon and will provide superb protection against intruders and those who would interfere with our efforts. I am certain the device will serve you well. Anton Sokolov. Anton Sokolov has donated arc mines to Burgundy Rothwald. Rothwald allows Sokolov to study wheels in the slaughterhouse, and sometimes the favorites returned in the form of designs for prototype tools. Hours, yeah, but we still don't want to spend. We only have one rune. Boat checks on the Renhaven. A letter extra from a book on members of the City Watch assigned to the Renhaven River. Dearest Rutherford, your latest writing, writing brought me a mix of sadness and delight. I was sorry to hear of the passing of your friend Corcron. Corcron? Corcron. From Morley. He was undoubtedly a good man and a worthy ally in your work with the City Watch in Dunwall. I know that the River Patrol is a difficult assignment, especially during these times, but it is important work. So given all that you've told me, I can only assume Corcoran was as brave as you are, my younger brother, Corcoran. It saddens me that such a vile organization as the Dead Eels even exists outside of the realm of those lurid, uh, lurid gothic novels we read as school children. That you and your men should have to face them out on the waters of the Renhaven is just terrifying. Boats must be checked, I know, I know. But if you should be harmed while ensuring some Tivian fur trader is carrying the correct text papers, I will never forgive this new Lord Regent and his flurry of laws. You, t you're, you talked of adventure when you sign on and danger seems to excite you. 
But you'll forgive me if I hope to see your patrol transferred further west, nearer to Colwyn Bridge, where the military presence is stronger and the smuggling gangs fear to play their wicked trade. I've gathered this much from the newspapers, but perhaps there's nowhere safe in Dunwall right now, certainly along the river. It pains me to imagine the customs crew at the checkpoints near your patrol being so short-handed. My mind reels at the thought of how anything else can take priority over my brother's life. I tell you, what I wouldn't give to be in charge of allocating the security details. You'd have a hundred men at your call, but I know that's impractical. Please write again when you can. All of us look forward to your words, and I often share them after dinner with our friends and those visiting us here in Driscoll. May your next letter bring news of eradication or imprisonment of Lizzie Stride and her cursed dead eels. Stay safe and remember as always, your sister, Pearl. Okay. Well, we should be able to open the thing now. Um, which is on the opposite side. <laughs> really? You guys saw that? Oof. You have such good eyes. Oh, there's still someone there. Interesting. All these rats the crawling dead. Up. We still need to get past that wall of light contraption they put up. If you can shut it off, we can slip past the city watch when the time is right. Is the wall of light down? Not yet. Not yet. We can wait. You're all we've got. Oh, but it is down. Wait, it is, is down. Is the wall of light down? Yes. You're free to go. Make your way out of this place. Here's the card, sir. I hope you burn this place to the ground. You see a woman named Thank Abigail you. Ames, she'll know what to do. She's a smart cookie. Well, what about After the other the guy? Dead. Solidarity. That's what Abigail keeps saying. I want saying. the code! But I don't know what I'll do if Rothwild puts me in that damn chair. Dun, da, dun, dun, da, dun. I have good eyes. The alarm, go. Oh. Someone get over here. Okay. Well, this is going great. This is going so well. <laughs> Can I do something with this? He no. is to be captured or killed on sight. We have the full Okay. So how do I disable Where does it lead to? I don't see this one having... Oh, oops. Oh, it's over here, somewhere. Oh, there we go. Wait. Push overflow, it's not here. Okay. Oh, it's all the way over there. There we go. Whew. Okay. Well, we survived. Harpooner's song, extra from a book of sea shanties sung by sailors. What will we do with the drunken? Yeah, okay, we know that one. <laughs> we know that one. Oops, oops. Hagfish feast. Jack, we had an appointment. I know you must have had a good reason. You're not so thick as to be taken in by all that Abigail rot, right, Jack? My patience is not like the ocean. So this last time, I'll ask you. This is the last time I'll ask you to come up to my office. Oh, and to give you a little work incentive, 
You better get here before my butchers find you. If they find you first, well, the hagfists will have themselves a proper feast before the day's out. And don't think because you've been chumming with some of the watch you're safe. VR. An intruder has been seen on the slaughterhouse grounds. He is to be captured or killed on sight. Okay. We well, now we can open this. I hear a thing. Oh, wait. No. That ain't it. I hear a thing somewhere here. Warning, do not use during high tides. Where is it? It might be below us. Let's go check. It might be below us. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of rats. Did I just not die? Oh, it is getting less of them. Okay. Nice. There we go. Another bone charm. Spirited. Potions give you mildly more mana. Yes, please. Well, I guess we're ready to enter. Sure, let's go this way. I think we did everything. Yep, except for the save, but we can't find the guy. So... We might be able to find it still later. Stubborn reputation. I doubt asking nicely is going to work. We'll have to find a more persuasive means of getting what you want out of him. Ooh. He's probably close to his office. We should start there. Look at this. Jeez. Uh. There was no other place where this could have been taking place. What is that? Oh. Oh! So the enemies are a little bit more scary in this one, for sure. Oh, the sounds. Oh, I really hate it. I really don't like the sounds. Dump three whales in one day when he was a gaffer. What do you say? Shut your blowhole and get back to work. Hmm. See, we have these two. How do I? How do I place it? Oh, there we go. At least now we know this is in their pathway. worked.
nothing. You saw absolutely nothing. <coughs> I hear another bone charm or whatever somewhere. Okay, we'll go that way later. Somewhere here. Now the sound has gone away again. Okay, so it's in the other direction then. Do I hear another thing? Make sure we're not missing anything. Another book. Operating a butcher saw. Extra from a company pamphlet. First, a reminder. All equipment within the Rothwell slaughterhouse is the sole property of Mr. Bundry Rothwell himself. Leads to an individual worker on a per shift basis. A butcher saw is not to be equipped and used without proper training and authorization. Misuse of the equipment could result in disfigurement or death. The saw itself is composed of three systems. Power supply, cutting blade, and chip ejector. The reciprocating blade is cast of hardened steel and when properly maintained pro provides severe sharpness. It is crafted to slice flesh but will cut bones with ease. The mechanism for powering the blade is a harness supporting custom sized tanks of four wheel oil. Capable of driving the saw for an entire shift before refueling is required. Care must be taken not to strike, heat, or electrify these tanks. The ejector is a new modification, casting out a stream of flat blade fragments. Since the girth of wheel uh, often exceeds a butcher's reach, the ejector allows for blasting away unwanted offal or breaking down dense bone at a distance. Okay. The whale butchers use a powerful saw that slices up flesh in seconds. It can also fire projectiles for carving hard to reach wheel parts. The butchers are devastatingly adept, uh, adept at handling these blades. Yeah. They seem really freaking scary. Okay. Oh, I hear something. Out of order? Must be in this one then. How would I get there? What? Maybe it's not in here. I just feel like I can hear it. Oh, there it is. Scavenger. You find ammo in greater amount. Sure. I mean, we still have a slot, so why not? Okay. Oh wait, we can... Can we heal multiple times? Yeah, we can. That's great. Because we are kind of out of, out of healing. Because <laughs> I've been doing really badly. One more? There you go. Demand your collective bonuses at sundown in my offices. Well done. The rest of you piss off. Let me just hmm. want to know his pathway. Ooh. Found it too close. <laughs> he sounds so close when I open the door, but... Okay. 
Okay. Hopefully that's in about the right spot. Seems like it. You better hope I don't find you. <laughs> I better hope so too, to be honest. <laughs> okay. I'll leave that guy for now. There you go. That one's down too now. I definitely feel like it's more difficult right now, for sure. Is this where we came from? Is it? Why not? Maybe it is another way that we could have gone in. Heat locker. Killing floor. I feel like I hear hounds. Oh, Jesus. Woo! That oh, feels pretty scary in a DLC. Anton Sokolov's lab journal. Vivisection of the third life specimen is almost complete. Careful perforation of the lower diet. Uh, diaphragm has brought me closer to observing secretion of the oil, but the process retains its mystery. This creature has weakened considerably since its capture, and its output is quite low. I've attached electrical simulators to the beast. A mild current increases output by 20%, to the considerable complaint of the wheel, I might add. Increasing the voltage will likely kill the creature, so further exploration will have to wait on a stronger specimen. For now, the music continues. So disturbing. Oh. I know what this is. A makeshift interrogation chair. Rothwild must be using it to coerce employees. You ever hear and she's gone again. Singing? I mean at night when you sleep. Let's see. Learn Rothwild's secrets. Search for uh, Burndry Rothwild near his office. Optional Granny's recipe. Yeah, we need to find ingredients. Find Abigail Ames. Locate and aid Abigail Ames. You better believe it. Okay. Worker's signature. I, the undersigned, agree to renounce any association with any employee union, to abstain from discussing such matters at any time, and to promptly report any co-workers that encourage union views. I agree that all grievances will be taken up with the Bundry Rothwald and his staff in an open and fair manner. Jared Harper, Richard Moser, J.A. Menderley, Sylvia Proctor, Lauren Spinner, and Maddie Cranston. Okay. I'm guessing we're gonna have to put someone in that chair. So, what do those idiots want anyway? Oh, well, they geez. think they don't get treated fairly because they can get fired for refusing to do dangerous work. What? What dangerous work? We're the ones that do the dirty stuff around here. Maybe we need to be organizing, huh? Hey, that's not funny. You say that again, even as a joke, in your whale meat. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm just saying. Stop listening in on that Abigail Lane's tricky talk. She'll corrupt. Is he gonna kill him? No, no. My head's clear. I know which side my bread's buttered on. I'll be glad when we get the order to get rid of her. It's only a matter of time. Oh, they're so freaking scary. Ooh. 
Okay, hopefully the right person walks through that. <sighs> we're just gonna wait and see what happens. Um, and we're probably going to find that out in the next episode, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you.